Now, mining giant Angogo Deshante is partnering with Tum Fosse to the second uh, charity foundation to introduce basic school children to distance learning via radio. Over 10,000 targeted class 6 pupils and junior high students will be assisted to improve standards in five districts of the Adansi and Amansia traditional areas. The initiative is meant to reduce the impact of COVID-19 on teaching and learning, especially in rural communities. Ohim Interior reports. Average BEC performance of schools in participating districts stand at 80%. Partners, including education directories in the respective districts, want to take it to 90% in the next edition. Anglogold Ashanti launched a social management plan last year to leverage social responsibility aimed at diversifying Obwasi's economy. A key component of the scheme is improvement of education in the mines catchment area. Beneficiaries of the partnership program will also receive at least three supplementary English and mass reading and workbooks for free. The mining company has already released 150,000 Ghana cities for the project in addition to the provision of motorbikes to education circuit supervisors. Emmanuel Bedu, a senior sustainability manager of Angogood Ashanti. With COVID coming in and given the fact that uh, we cannot do anything significant on the education intervention, we look for an opportunity to partner with the Otum Four Charity Foundation to print and distribute a number of supplementary readers and workbooks and with a complementary um, radio um, education um, to ensure that the children uh, read the books um, and then comprehend it. And this was actually a stopgap measure or an intervention they rolled out to ensure that um, whilst because of COVID children are home um, and the third um, term is somehow missing on the education calendar for this academic year, the children will not um, suffer much. So we saw that as a very useful intervention. And obviously we believe that if children have a good foundation education, then they can excel in the education, uh, uh, educational ladder. That will give them a very strong basis for the fact that age year is back. Obuase should significantly see, visibly see the benefit of the mind. And we believe we can never do this without education. Yes, sir. Dr. Thomas Ejakupuku is the executive director of the Two Four Charity Foundation. He told the launching ceremony in Obwasi, the foundation will see to the strict implementation of the program for success. The books are printed will be distributed to the children. And we are ensuring that the beneficiaries, who are the children, receive those books. We do this by going from one village to another one town to another, we ensure the COVID protocols, bring the children together and hand these books over to them. Indeed, we don't give the books to people to keep them in nowhere. We hand them to the beneficiaries. The idea of giving the books is to ensure continuity. Because for children, as long as they stay at home, they tend to forget. And education will not wait for your aid. And therefore, we are making sure that we look for all things possible to ensure that education is continued. Meanwhile, the Obwasi Municipal Director of Education, Leticia Obin, has commended Anglogold Ashanti for the initiative, adding it will go a long way to improve education standards. From Obwasi, for Joy News, Ohim Interior reporting.